So today we're going to try Dyson Sphere and see how we make out. Go up here real quick, change our resource multiplier. It's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo, and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere Group, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center to bring to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated plan for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. We just got to get over there. The uh, keys on this are relatively standard. You can use the mouse for the viewpoint. And then you have A, S, D, W, and you know, W forward, A left, D right, S back. Now you are about to reach the designated planet. Then it kind of takes control of it. It's not for you to do. Actually, relatively love this game. It is relatively you know, pretty foolproof, and of course, it's beautiful, which you know, that never hurts. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right-click on the destination to control its movement. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars. And create miracles. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna right click over here to get off of the platform. And then I'm gonna go ahead and now take some, some of these the trees down by right clicking on right -click them. Onto recycle. And I want some of these out of the way. Give us a little room to build. So if you want to go to your inventory, you click down here and inventory. And we'll bring up what you have. We're going to toss all this stuff right into the mecha. So he can recharge. If you look at the bottom, there's this charge level. It's pretty weak. Now we're going to right click on this. I'm going to recycle that. And while we're doing that, we're going to click the technology tree. Tell we want electromagnetism. We're gonna go to upgrades. We're gonna click on uh, Mecha Core and hit Escape to get out. So there we go. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the. we're gonna right-click on this copper over here. We have iron over here and coal over here. So we're gonna get about 30 of those uh, copper ore. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go do the same thing with the iron. You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So right click on the iron ore. He's going to mosey himself over and go to the replicator. So, 10 of these. And we gotta wait until he's got enough iron to make them. Which he currently does not. Let's 
should be more than enough. So we're gonna go here in the replicator, we're gonna say okay. One ten of these, which will actually create twenty. Which is perfectly fine for us. There is tutorial. So at the very bottom right, going from the top right to the bottom left, we have the statistics panel, mecha panel, replicator, inventory, and details display. And we just got ourselves our wind turbine, Tesla tower, and our mining machine. These are extremely important, and we will need them. We've created a mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Yay. Pick it up from the inventory. Or selected on a gathering of construction. So we need ten more of these. There we go. And twenty of the copper plates. There we go. This is twenty of those. Now our copper plates are building. That'll get us our additional power down here at the bottom. Faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Power plant here. Wind turbine. You have established your first power grid. Not all power facilities has its power supply. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. You have done building the first power transmission facility. Tesla Tower. You can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power can see, now our energy available is for charging the indoors. Now we're burning on those trees we cut earlier. Next, we're going to need to make another one of these mining jiggies. There we go. We'll set up for three of those. And we need to think about research. So we're going to go back to technologies with a left click on technologies at the top left. And then we're going to go over here. I want to look at what we have available to us. And my first one is usually the logistics system right here, which gives you your conveyor belts, your storage facilities. So we're going to do that. We're going to escape out, see what its requirements are. It says we need 10 gears. Let's build 10 of those. And then 10 of these absolutely wonderful computer chips, which it looks like we only have enough. Looks like we need more copper. So we're going to right click on it. It's going to go mine us some copper. Maybe. There we go. going over here to mine ourselves some coal. You may be thinking to yourself, well, why are we mining coal? Well, the mech suit can run on uh, coal as well. So, let's get some coal. These all need to be placed a certain distance away from each other. These are the wind turbines. It only has plenty of power. Yay, we got our basic logistics. We got our conveyor belt, our sorter, and our storage facility. And then it's going to tell us about it. 
you have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation. Use the conveyor belt to transport the pile of ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one hole, and use the down arrow key to draw down one hole after the conveyor belt is lifted. Press keypad 0 to reset the construction of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the belt, you can try holding down the shift. Looks like we need a rock deposit. Where's our nearest rock deposit? I don't have to worry about that in a minute. So this allows us to make smelters. Also very important for our needs. We're going to go into the replicator again. Components. It says it wants 10 of those. We already have 10 additional uh, circuit boards. So we don't need those. It's actually going to generate 20 of the uh, magnetic uh, cords, I think they call them. Magnetic coils. Keep in mind this game is in early access. It is, you know, basically beta. It may crash. It may have bad things happen to you. Save frequently. Save often. You know, in my case, one of the problems I had was video capture. So now our smelter is done. And we'll get an overview on that. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within the power coverage area and supply it with power facilities in order to maintain its normal. So we use Tesla coils to transfer the power. Bingo. As you can tell, this is quite a bit quicker than you know mining this stuff ourselves. So we'll take some from that one. Take some from that one. There we go. And we're going to make three more of those. So, we now have that. We build our assembler. And then we will go on to that. So, we need 10 of the gears. We go to components, go to gears, 10 it is, and then we'll do 10 of these even though we don't need, we'll make 20, but we only need, you know, four. There we go. Beautiful game when you look at it. Hold down shift and right click to give it orders to follow at the most basic rip. Storage facility next. Buildings, storage, build two. Oh, cool. Our assembler's about ready. We should get some instructions on that one internally. Unwanted, unneeded, but they would be there anyways. Let's see how we're doing on power in that. Let's throw some more wood in there. 
throw some plant life in there. And let's throw some some coal, why not? These right here, these hydrogen fuel rods have a massive amount of power. But kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, looks like we need to build some more of these little suckers. Okay. There we go. So the reason why we're using so little power here is because of the fact that neither one of these uh, mines is mining machines is currently operating. So we're okay at the moment. Generally speaking, two on the several turbines that we have would not be enough. Just wouldn't be. Here goes our magnetic coils just finished being built in our building. Go. That should be the end of that research. There we go, electromagnetic matrix, which allows us to build the blue matrix. Matrix, I don't know. Which allows you to research better technologies. That's the important takeaway here. Makes it really easy to go ahead and reload Mecca. Oh, here's 50. These can go into stacks of 50. I mean, stacks of 100. Okay, so we'll put those 100 in here. We have an oil well. And there we do. So let's look at what research we could or should do now. Everything from here on out, I think, requires a matrix. Matrix. Okay, we'll go up to upgrades, top left. see what we can do. So I happen to know that iron beams are an advanced technology, so we haven't researched those yet. That won't work. Motors, also an advanced technology. Energy circuit, get away with that eventually. We're not there yet. This we can get away with. to get out. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, let's go over here. should be more than enough of those. Uh-oh, we're going. 
You go make up. Make a video, buddy. I'll tweet tweet. They're like, thanks, Dad. Don't really care. Yeah, it sounds about right for you. So right over here, where it says manual research, top left. We have 100 out of 100 coal. We're currently building the magnetic coils. If we click over here on replicator at the bottom right, or press F, you can see how it's going. Probably should have made them in batches of five. So I think it's two for every one iteration you do. Then it would have been 10, 10, 10, but that's all right. Here we go. So basically, on the top left for such manual research, those will not those will not move unless you have enough. And the amount on the right is the amount that you're going to need. The amount on the left is the amount currently supplied. And I think we're going to save here for the moment. And we'll start up the next video, uh, basically when these are done building. So let's go here, escape, save game. We'll call this video one into two. Overwrite save game. And away we go. And you can alt F4 to get out of this.